This here is something I always struggled with when I first started working on air conditioners or heaters or furnaces or anything like that. I couldn't tell the difference between a limit switch and a fan switch. I had no idea there was even a difference. To me, they both looked the same. I couldn't figure a difference. I didn't know there was a, an actual difference. So for a long time, I had a time, a hard time trying to figure out what was what. Was it supposed to be open? Did it, did it need to have continuity? Did it not? I really didn't know. And I didn't, I didn't study HVAC or, or uh, fixing heaters in a school or anything like that. Uh, I just learned on, online and I never, never learned this part. So today I want to share with you guys, if you're an HVAC uh, technician, this is just basic, really basic, really easy. But this is mo mostly for maintenance guys or people that handyman that, that work on furnaces or heaters, stuff like that. Uh, now, first thing I want to say is if you're not comfortable there with uh, electricity, call a professional. And if you're going to work on this, it's always better to pull the disconnect or, or uh, turn the power off to the unit. You don't want to be working on any of this while it's energized. So that's just something I wanted to share before before I go any further. But now, let's get into what, what I'm talking about here with these two. Now, they both look the same. When you see them, they, it's really hard to tell what's a limit switch, what's a fan switch, what, what's the difference, what do they do, where do you find each one. Now, we're going to start with the fan switch. The fan switch is is always open. When it's when it's not doing anything, it's open. So if I put, put a multimeter here and I'll put it on just on continuity, you'll see that it's 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 an open. I'll do it down here. That it's open. It, it's there's no there's no continuity to it. So that's that's a, uh, a multimeter on continuity, and of course it's open. So this is always going to be open when it's when it's not in service or, or, or doing anything. What this does, well, the first thing I want to say is, how do you know if it's a limit switch or a uh, fan switch? Well, you're going to read the plate or the sticker or whatever. On this one, it's kind of hard to t show on the video, but when you see the numbers here, I'm trying to make it to where you guys can see it. It'll be hard. So that right there says F120. So F means fan. So this is a fan switch. This is not a limit switch. This is a fan switch. And the 120 is at the temperature where it, it ignite, where it um where it does continuity, where it connects. So in this case, we already tested it, it's open. It's an, it's an F, so it's a fan switch, so this will always be open. This is usually next to the heat exchange, and, and this, this, will, this will, will make contact, which, which will allow the fan to kick on. Once, once the heat exchange is, is hot, then it'll, it'll, let the, the, it'll turn on the fan. It'll, it'll have continuity to the fan. Now, the way we're going to test this, this and uh, what, what I want to show you guys is, right now, of course, we tested it, and it's closed. Now, what we're going to do... I'm gonna put a little bit of, at 120 degrees, it'll 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 uh, make contact. So hopefully you can hear it. I don't know if you heard that, but it clicked. Now I don't want to burn myself, so I gotta be careful here. Um, so now at, at the uh, continuity, of course this time, now that'll that'll let the fan turn on. So that's that's what that's what the fan switch does, and it's always going to have an F. The 120 degrees that that's where it kicks on. So this is a fan switch. This is always open when it's not in use. Now, next we're going to look at a limit switch. Now a limit switch is a protection that that uh, heaters have that will cut cut uh, energy to the circuit board or to the uh, gas valve or, or whatever so the, sh the gas shuts off that means there's something going on either there's a restriction in the line the uh, blower motor is not kicking on or didn't kick on or turned off or, or dirty filter could cause this and they also go bad over time sometimes you just got to change them so this is exactly the opposite now this always is, is when you're not using it it's going to have continuity so this is normal this is normal this is what it's supposed to be so this is a limit switch. They, they're going to have continuity. Now, if there's an issue in the uh, heat exchange area and, and 
it got it overheated it's too hot something's going on like i said there's a restriction now i'm gonna do the same thing i'm gonna this this is well i'm gonna show it to you first okay so as you can see there's an l which i was going to indicate limit switch 140 so at 100 140 degrees that's where it'll shut off and then that's a minus 40 that means that when it comes back to 100 it's going to kick back on so this at 140 degrees if it gets too hot and there there's different ratings for these so make sure that if, if you're going to change one of these you get the right rating um at 140 degrees this will cut out now i'm hoping you can hear it on the microphone so we'll, we'll do this with a lighter again So that now will not have continuity, of course, because um, now it got too hot, and that, that cuts the uh, continuity to it. Of course, there's, there's nothing going on now. I can't put it on the table, but as you can see, the contacts are, are, are not, there's no continuity to these. So once it dries, it, once it cools down to 100 degrees, which shouldn't take too long, it will kick back on. So that is the difference between a fan switch and a limit switch. Even though they both look the same, you're thinking, what's the difference? That's a difference. That's something that I had a really hard time trying to figure out when I was, when I was doing this. It, I, I couldn't find any videos. I didn't go to school for this, so, so nobody really taught me this. I couldn't tell the difference. You're going to find fan switches next to uh, where the fan's at, next to the uh, uh, heating element or... or uh, Heat exchange, and that's and that's what's going to let the fan turn on. Oh, it's this one, and, and the other one is the protection. That's 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 also going to be some of the package units and stuff. They're going to be next to the to the fan also, but that's a protection for the uh, for the system. Well, I hope this video helps somebody out, and um, good luck.